clean you guys off there. You're a little dirty. Okay, I think that's better. Well, good morning everyone and welcome to another vlog. So we are starting out the day in my bathroom. You guys seem to uh, seem to always bring you guys in here in my bathroom when I'm getting ready. So, um, so starting out for the day, I am just doing my skincare real quick. Um, it is about probably almost 11, 12 o'clock in the uh, morning. So um, kind of getting a late start to the day, but I had to work last night. Um, for those of you who are new, I am a nurse in a hospital. So um, I work 12 hour shifts during the day. So um, yeah, I had to work last night and so, or yesterday. So um, I kind of slept in this morning just because I was just a little tired and sometimes you just need that. Sometimes you just need to sleep. But really all I did really was just kind of lay in the bed because I've actually been up for a while. But um, sometimes it's just lay in the bed and just like read emails. Yeah, yeah, like read my emails and, um, you know, reply to comments on my YouTube videos. So, so yeah, so getting a late start to the day, but it is the weekend. It is Saturday, so I feel like that's... I feel like if you're going to get up late, it should be the weekend, right? Um, so I don't really have a whole lot planned today. Um, my husband, he had called me earlier and wanted to take me to this restaurant that um, I loved when I was in college. And it is in another state. So he just was feeling, feeling himself this morning because he's not really a... I'm, he's more of a homebody, so it's a nice day. So I think... He just kind of wanted to kind of get out and enjoy the day. So, I don't know. We probably won't go there because that's too far. And I'm just, yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling driving that far because it's about probably a two or three hour drive. I don't know. We'll see how I feel after I get ready for the day. But, yes, yeah, so I'm just doing my skincare and um, just thought I'd turn on the camera and vlog today. Um, I love doing weekend vlogs. I think the last vlog I did was a was a weekend vlog. So even though I like to really, um, I like to rest on the weekend. So, but vlogs are easy. Y'all know if you've been following me, y'all know I love to film vlogs because they're just easy to film and they're easy to edit. And so, yeah. Um, as you can tell, I'm stuffy. I'm still stuffy. It's going on two weeks that I've had this stuffiness. So I think it's allergies because it's definitely not a cold because, and I know this is going to be TMI, but, but I'm, I vlog, so nothing is TMI. Um, but, um, the color of my sputum is not, you know, green or any, you know, it's not green or anything. It's clear. So I'm thinking it's just allergies because usually when i get a cold it doesn't last two weeks so i'm just thinking it's allergies something's in the air that's like making me you know my allergies flare up which is not typical for me so i don't know what it is i guess the older i get the more i realize that certain stuff i just can't handle so something's in the air evidently that's making me my allergies act up so um so yes yeah, so i'm done with my skincare and um, I need to go to Target. That's what I need to do because I need to get some more cotton rounds. I need to get some more makeup wipe remover. So I'm just taking my gummies right now, my vitamins. So I might do that today. Do a little Target run. Um, what time is it? It's 1124. And my kids actually are still asleep. So I don't know what time they went to bed last night because they usually are up by now. So, um, all right. So I'm going to do a perfume or fragrance collection with you guys real quick. I know I had promised you guys or promised that I would do my perfume collection. So since I'm in here in my bathroom, because that's where I keep all my fragrances. And let me just show you guys. Here is my fragrance collection here. I'm going to try to go through all of them. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, and just a disclaimer, I am terrible at describing scents. So, don't get mad. 
<laughs> don't get frustrated if you like want to know what they smell like girl i can only describe them as fruity or musky or florally that's all i know how to describe them so we're gonna try to do we're gonna do the best we can girl um but i keep them on this little like mirror tray i think i got this from the thrift store a few years ago so we're gonna try to get through these y'all let me put my glasses on because yeah i can't see all right that's better i can see you guys better and you can and we can get through this so um let me just start with the newest one in my collection this one i got for mother's day and this is by dior it is by oh what is it i should probably take my glasses off because these my glasses are used for seeing far, far away but this is the perfume christian dior jador perfume do okay another disclaimer i don't know how to say things in french because a lot of these brands are french ish <laughs> so but you know you can see the bottle so hopefully um you know you can find the fragrance based on the bottle and i'll try to link them down below too if you want to go and check them out or whatever but this is what the bottle and the packaging looks like and i just think it's really cute and it opens like this which took me a minute to figure out i end up getting this um, from my mom from Mother's Day and then my husband I guess he must have watched one of my vlogs because I mentioned this in a vlog and he got this for me for Mother's Day so um but the actual um liquid is like a white so I didn't know that so I don't know but I mean it doesn't show up on your clothes like eventually it fades but I just thought that was weird that it's white like if anybody knows why or if you have this fragrance and you know why the it's white like is it like a is it like a lotion or something like a liquid lotion i don't know but this smells so good it's very fresh i don't know it kind of it's kind of florally but not really but it's very fresh which is why i like it i love fresh uh fresh scents <laughs> for the spring and the summertime um but i just absolutely love this one um but it's by dior christian dior so um but that's the first one so that's the newest one that i got so i'm just going to show you all of them just randomly just go down the road and just kind of do this quickly because i do have a good bit um the next one i have is by joe malone and this is in the english pear and freesia and this one joe malone fragrances i feel like are unisex i feel like men can wear these as well and it smells just like it it says english pear and freesia so it definitely smells kind of pear so fruity if you will um fruity but not too feminine if that makes sense it's like a musky kind of fruity smell so i just love this one um i have several joe malone fragrances but this one is probably my favorite if for like more of a feminine kind of a touch it has like a feminine touch but like i said i feel like men can wear these too so yeah so that is the next one and this is joe malone and then i have another joe malone i have a smaller packaging with this one and this is the wood sage and sea salt i feel like this is the one that a lot of people like and yeah, I like this one, but not as much as I like the English pear. This one is definitely like a musky kind of scent. It's wood sage, so it's woody. Yeah, but I don't like this one as much, which is why I have it in a small bottle. Because probably after I use this, I won't purchase repurchase it because I don't like it that much. All right, and then the next Joe Malone fragrance I have, um, it's a small bottle. So this is also the wood sage and sea salt. I have several of these small ones. I don't know if I got them like in a collection or something. Um, I'm not sure why I end up having a lot of these smaller bottles. But here yeah, I have these smaller ones for like to put in like my purse or something. So I have two wood sage and sea salts and one English pear and freesia. And I think the English pear and freesia is almost gone. So I might as well just throw this one away. But yeah, there's hardly anything in there. So I might use, use that today. And just to get rid of it but yes yeah, so i have some of these small ones that you can like keep in your purse or something so i don't know why how i end up getting those and then i also have some awesome little even smaller little um joe malone um samples i think i got these at nordstrom or something um so sorry about that but yeah i'm not gonna even go over these because yeah some of these i haven't even sprayed yet but these are just some small ones um yeah peony peony and blush suede yeah i'm not even gonna go through those because those are small little samples but just to kind of just like i said i'm showing you guys my 
fragrance collection and those are part of them. Um, all right, so moving on along, probably one of my favorites is this YSL Libre. And this is what the packaging looks like. So I absolutely love the packaging of this one. It's just very sleek and just very sophisticated. And this one, it definitely is a strong, like musky, masculine scent. But I love it. Like if my husband was to wear this, I would love it on him. And I love it on me. Every time I wear this, my husband's like, what do you have on? That smells so good. So this is probably his favorite that I wear because he loves it so much on me. So, um, but it's, yeah, it's definitely not a feminine fragrance. It's definitely like very masculine, very just, I don't know. It just, it reminds me of a male scent actually. So, um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. Like it's so strong it's very strong so it's not anything fruity so you definitely you know shouldn't wear this if you're going to be like around a whole bunch of people i don't know maybe if you want to if you don't care but if you wear this you're definitely going to get attract attention because it is definitely a strong strong scent so but i love it though it's probably one of my favorites out of all of my yeah that's definitely my favorite out of all the ones i have in my collection the YSL Libre is my favorite. So, and then this next one I have, I guess this one is fairly new. I got this one um, before I got the Dior one. So yeah, this one is fairly new. It's a new um, fragrance in my collection. Um, this is by Burberry, Burberry and this is the my, Bur my Burberry Blush. And as you can see, this is a huge packaging. I like this little bow here. This is probably one of my favorites as far as the packaging. Um, but this is so cute, like, I love it. But this one, this fragrance is definitely a light, like feminine like like floral scent so it's definitely a feminine scent but i absolutely love it um you can see i'm almost out of this um but it's a huge packaging like i don't know why the packaging is so huge but i absolutely love it so it's definitely fresh and just very airy and light perfect for you know the spring and summertime but yeah i love that one that's probably one of my newest favorites i guess um, going down the line again, I shouldn't even say fav my favorites because I love all of these because here is my Gucci Guilty and I absolutely love it too. I think this is another favorite of my husband's that I wear. Yeah, so this is, yeah, just a uh, Gucci Guilty and small little packaging here. This one is another light scent. I would say this is more of like a scent like that you would uh, smell like older women wear, like women more mature women would wear this fragrance um because it's very light um i don't know if it's i don't know if it's floral like all these scents are starting to blend in so it's hard for me to even tell but I, it's very light so very light very feminine very mature fragrance um it's not too strong so um you don't have to worry about you know strong scent you know if you're like out and about but it is very it's very mature, very mature. It kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, it's like almost kind of reminds me of like a shower wash or body wash or something. That's kind of how the vibes it gives me. So yeah, so love that one. And then the next one I have is by Prada. And this is the packaging with this one. I don't know, I think it's Prada Candy. I think that's the one. Yeah, this is the Prada Candy and it's a sweet smell, so perfect for, I feel like, the fall and the winter. Not fall and winter, spring and summer. I don't know why I took the top off because there is no top. You basically just spray it. Here's a little opening and you just basically just spray it on you. But, yeah, I'm almost out of this, so I basically just have enough probably for one more use of this. But I love this one. I fell in love with this one years ago. Um, but like I said, it's like a sweet, it's a very sweet scent. But it's not a scent that lingers. It's not a scent that stays on you long. At least I don't smell it after a while, so I feel like you have to keep spraying this one, unfortunately, but it definitely is a sweet candy scent because the name Prada Candy. So if you like sweet scents, then this is probably a good one. I think it'd be perfect for the um, spring and summer months. So, so yes, yeah, so I love that one. Um, and then the next one I have is um, by Chanel. This is the Chanel Chance. And this one, this one to me is another like mature scent like for mature women yeah definitely would say it is and it's more of like a i don't know what's how to really describe this one it's not floral i don't know it's light too so i feel like this is a good scent for the spring and summer because it's very light too it's not a musky uh, scent or anything um but i love it i've been wearing wearing this one for years as well 
and I always read up on this one when I run out. So, um, but yeah, so love that one. All right, and the next one I have is by Chloe. I don't know the name of this one. I don't too much care for this one as much. Um, it's it's definitely like a mature fragrance. Like it's very strong, um, but I don't like it because, yeah, I just don't like the scent of it. So, and I've had this one in my collection for several years. Like I don't know why I haven't thrown this one away yet. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just don't too much like this one as, as much as the other ones, but it's definitely like a, my husband's home. You guys probably hear my garage door opening. Um, but yeah, I don't too much care for this one as much. Like it's definitely a strong, strong scent. So, um, yeah, very kind of reminds me of like Liz Taylor or something like that. Um, so yeah, I don't like that one and I don't recommend it, but I just, like I said, I'm just sharing with you guys my collection. So, um, all right, another Dior fragrance I have, and I absolutely love this one. This is, um, by Miss Dior, or this is the Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming. And I just have like a little small packaging. I love like these little details with like the bows on there. It's just so cute and feminine and petite. Um, but yeah, I love this one. This one is definitely one of my favorites. This one is like, I don't know. This is kind of musky. I don't know, but it's musky and a light. Somewhat floral. I don't know. Um, but it's just really good. I really love this one. It's def definitely a strong scent. Kind of strong like the YSL. Just like down a little bit. Not as strong as the YSL. But just it is a little bit strong. But yeah. I absolutely love this one. And every time I run out of it. I end up going to repurchase. So love that one. The next one I have. A lot of people probably already know about. This is by Dolce & Gabbana. And this is light blue. And it is a light fragrance. Floral, definitely kind of a floral fragrance. And yeah, I love this one. I've been using this one for years too. This is probably one of the ones that I really started to like or when I really started to get into fragrances, I should say. This is probably one of the ones that I would purchase often. And so it's probably the one that I've had um, in my fragrance collection for the longest, I would say, or that I've been loving the longest. Cause so yeah, I just absolutely love this one. And yeah, it's just as it, as it describes, it's light blue, very light. So, um, only thing is the packaging, the top is hard to get off, but yeah, it's definitely like a musky kind of floral scent. Um, I don't know. I could be butchering all these and saying the wrong thing. I'm just telling you what they smell like to me, but, um, but I love it. Um, it's kind of a citrusy actually, not floral, citrusy, citrusy kind of scent. So if you like citrus scents, then this is a good one, but yeah, so that's the next one. And then the next one I have, this one is kind of like a rogue one, I should say, because it's not any, like, one of the name brands that I've mentioned. This one is called Le Femme Eau de Parfum by this brand, R-M-A-R-M-A-F, R-M-F. I don't know. Someone recommended this to me in a perfume store and was like, this one smells good. And I like the packaging because it's like a leather packaging on it. It's just kind of, it's different. Um, but this one, and it's actually falling apart. This one, um, I don't know. I like it. It has like a light scent to it. Um, I'm trying to like figure out what this smells like. Cause it does have a distinct scent to it. Um, yeah, I don't even, I can't even really describe what this smells like. Um, and I don't even know if this is like available to purchase. So I'll try to find it on Amazon or something, but I mean, it smells good. It's not, it's not too bad. It smells good. It's kind of has like a, it's kind of citrusy, but not really, but yeah. All right. And then the last three fragrances are by Dossier or Dossier. Um, that is a company. They sell designer inspired fragrances. I worked with them, I want to say a couple of years ago. So that's how long I've had these. Um, but yeah, I still have them in my fragrance collection. So the first one is called Floriental Tur Tuberose. And this one actually tells you what the notes. So the top notes are orange blossom and rose. The middle notes are tuberose and daffodil. And the base notes are benzoin, musk, and orris. And these are designed inspired. And I actually kept the little card that they came with. So this one is inspired by Diptyque Dosan Eau de Parfum. <laughs> so that's um, inspired by a Diptyque fragrance. So... Um, but it smells good. Um, 
it's definitely a floral scent for sure um but you can smell the actually you can smell the orange in it but it's kind of florally too um but yeah i like that one it's kind of light and airy so perfect for the summertime and the next one i have is oriental cherry i think this one is inspired by tom ford i believe yeah this was inspired by tom ford lost cherry which is very expensive cologne so um yeah i absolutely love this one um you can definitely smell the cherry in this and cherry is one of my favorite fruits so i love this one so this one is probably the one that i've used the most of out of actually no the floriental tuberose i've used more of that than the other ones and this is probably the second one that i've used the most of but yeah, I definitely love this. I'm going to see if I can find this um, on the Dossier site and get more of this one because I want the Tom Ford one, but, and these scents last too. Like, they're not cheap where they, you put it on and you got to keep putting it on. Like, they last all day too, so they're really good and, you know, design inspired. So, if you can't afford, like, some of the ones that I showed you and you know you were on a budget then yeah these are definitely good when these dossiers and this is not sponsored like like i said i worked with them years ago like when i first started um youtube i think and a couple of years ago when i first started posting consistently i should say and they reached out and gave me some free fragrances so and i still have them so this isn't sponsored so i'm just showing you guys what i have in my collection and i still have these so um but yeah i love this one and then the last one is called fruity honey and I love the packaging too. It's just so sleek and minimalistic. And the Fruity Honey, it is, actually it is a, um, inspired by Jo Malone, Nectarine, Blossom, and Honey. So yeah, if you can't afford the Jo Malone, then you can get one of these Dossier ones. So, um, but yeah, I love the Dossier fragrances. Um, I need to go in there and get more just because it'll save you a little coin, especially like for some of like the more affordable ones that are more expensive ones that you want to, you know, get that are kind of too, too, you know, pricey. Um, but yeah, that's it. That was, that is my fragrance collection and just absolutely love fragrances. As you guys can see, I've been collecting them for a while and yeah, my tray is full, so I can't buy any more. Like I have to use some of these up and then, um, like make room for that tray because yeah that tray is full and there's nothing else will fit on that tray so um yeah so but that's my fragrance collection i hope you guys got some i wish let's say inspo but you guys get to see my little fragrance collection um but yeah so that's it so i'm gonna finish getting ready for the day and it's almost 12 o'clock so try to finish getting ready for the day and then um yeah pop back on here with you guys in a little bit once i decide what i'm gonna do for the day so yeah so happy weekend it's the weekend baby let's have fun get out the house do something it's nice where i am i don't know if it's nice where you are but it's a nice sunny day today so let's get out even if it's raining get out and enjoy the day because you were blessed to wake up to see another day so that's enough to celebrate and be happy and joyful about okay so all right so let's make it a good day
Hey guys, so it is a whole new day and I wasn't planning on vlogging two days this weekend. I was just planning on vlogging Saturday, which was yesterday, um, and then posting this video on a Sunday. But um, after the world road trip, as you guys saw, we ended up going to Birmingham, Alabama um, to, we were going to go to the restaurant that, um, that I loved that I would frequently go to when I lived there in Birmingham, but they were shut down. They closed down last year sometimes, so we definitely should have Googled it before we went, but it was fine. We just made a day out of it. We went to eat somewhere else. We went to this restaurant called Dreamland, as you guys saw, and yeah, the food wasn't that great. So, um, yeah, so kind of a bad, bad little um, a fail, I guess it, we, we should say it was a fail as far as eating, but we ended up going shopping at one of the shopping centers that they have there, like an outdoor mall. So it wasn't totally a fail. We ended up going shopping because that's how you fix a problem. Just go shopping. <laughs> uh, no, don't listen to me. Don't do that. Um, but anyway, so we ended up doing a little bit of shopping while we were there just to make a day out of it. And so we were there for a while and we didn't get home till like around eight. So I was tired. I was going to do a haul of what I got there at the um, mall and I also was going to do like a boohoo haul because I did get some pieces from boohoo so um so I'm going to do that today actually um actually I'm kind of running a little late I'm have church today I'm on my way to church so uh, we'd actually been out of church for like a month so this is our first day back and I'm since I'm you know in a month since April end of April so um because we just took like a little break for the month of May so today's our first day back so I am heading out the door getting ready to go to church so when I come back then I will show you guys a haul of all the things that I just recently purchased um, but yeah just wanted to update you guys and say hello good morning it is a whole new day and hopefully this vlog isn't all over the place but you know we just go with the flow right when it comes to life <laughs> you know life be life and sometimes things don't go according to plan and so anyway um, but yeah, let me show you guys my church outfit of the day so you guys can see what I'm wearing. Just something simple. I just have on this black cardigan that I got from Urban Revivo. I actually have it in a green color. Um, and then I just have on this like zebra print little midi dress that I got. I think this is from Zara. Zara or H&M. I think it's probably from H&M because it looks like an H&M print. And then I just have on these yellow... Um, little barely there shoes little kitten heels um and then i have on my dior necklace i actually wore this yesterday um i haven't worn this in a while so just thought i would pop it out for the summer and just some little beaded angles here just some simple jewelry so yeah so um i'm gonna pop off and get out here before i um uh, keep rambling and don't want to run late so but yes, I'm on my way to church and I will see you guys when I get back and we'll do like a little haul. So, all right. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Have a blessed Sunday, whatever it is that you're doing or whatever day that you're watching this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I guess the first thing I'll do is show you guys, show with you guys the things that I got from the little um, shopping center that we went to yesterday, a like little road trip. So we went to this place called Altered State, and I love this little shop. It is very like boho vibes. So you'll see a lot of these things I got are kind of like boho chic kind of vibes. So I just got one piece from this particular little shop and it's basically just a little cardigan. It's like a crochet cardigan. I've really been into like cardigans or like crochet, I should say, not cardigans, but so I've always been into cardigans as you can see, but like crochet material, I've been into that. So first thing I got is just this little um, crochet little it's like a duster slash cardigan and um, this is just really cute just something that I can wear you know on top of or yeah on like or over I should say like little you know slip skirts or, or slip dresses or any kind of like little dresses and it's short sleeve so it's really pretty um, 
trying to find the tag on it and see how much I paid for this. This was $70, so pretty expensive, and I got it in like a medium large. Um, so it's pretty pricey for what it is, but I just figure I can just layer this. And the crochet pattern is like florally kind of. You can see it's kind of like floral pattern, and it has like a little string here where you can tie it up. So I'm going to try this on real quick so you guys can see how it looks on. All right, so this is how it looks on. As you can see, it's short sleeve. Let me kind of bring you guys down so you can kind of see it in like full length so I don't know if you can really see but it goes to like my calf I guess you could say and I'm like 5'8 so and then you can just kind of tie it up here if you want it tied up or I'll probably just leave it undone um but yeah I think this is also cute to wear like over like a bathing suit or something if you go to the beach or something so just something super you know delicate and just yeah just really lightweight that I feel like you can wear with anything really so um like i said i've been trying to find like little crochet type of pieces and so yeah i love this little duster i guess duster slash cardigan i guess you will um but yeah so that's the first thing i got from yeah this little um boutique called altered state they have these in um here in georgia too in the, some of the malls in georgia it's not just like an alabama thing so um, and I don't know if they have a website. Let me see. Um, yeah, they have a web website, alteredstate.com. So if anything, I'll try to find these pieces that I got in store and link them down below for you guys if you're interested. So, but yeah, I've gotten something from here before. I don't remember what it was, but I have gotten pieces from this um, little boutique store before. So, um, but yeah, so love this. And then we also went to the store called Buckle. We have those two here in Georgia. Um, my husband went in there to get something. And so I just browsed around. Of course, I found some things. This store kind of reminds me a little bit of like that coastal uh, cowgirl trend that's going around. Like kind of like this piece that I have on here. So very just, you know, summer and spring summer vibes. They had a lot, you know, I have a lot of like rock revival. I don't know if you guys remember that brand. Um, they have a lot of like cowboy boots and like yeah that western style they have a lot of that in the store and they have a lot of jeans my husband went in there to look for jeans and look for um like some t-shirts and that's what i actually got too so i'll show you i just got one clothing piece from that store and the rest of them are like accessories um but i've been into i love graphic tees i've always loved graphic tees and so i saw this and it just says venice beach on it um, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it just has Venice Beach on it. And I just thought this would be cute just like to wear with jeans or like a black slip skirt or something. I can dress this, really dress this up. And I actually saw a necklace in there that I thought would look cute wear, to wear with this. So when it's just like in this cream color, um, but it's just a graphic tee, it's kind of cropped, but I have a short torso, so it won't be super cropped on me. Um, but yeah, I loved it and just thought it was a cute little graphic tee. Um, I love little graphic tees like this and I thought it looked kind of distressed and kind of like old a little bit so and this one I got in a size extra large I think this is the only size I had left they had left in there and it was $29.99 so I guess not too bad for um like a good quality little t-shirt so um but yeah and then I got a jewelry piece I'll show you the jewelry piece I'll show you guys the jewelry piece that I got um, first before I show you guys the other accessories. So I got like a little necklace and I love this. Like I said, um, in this haul you're going to see a theme and that's like, I don't know, I've been into like boho chic. <laughs> I don't know. Either I am very, you know, chic and casual or I'm boho chic. So, I'm, but I'm always going to be chic. Um, but anyway, so I saw this little necklace. This has like these little silver beads. And it has like this turquoise kind of stones. I love any kind of jewelry, but like this turquoise stones. I just absolutely love it. And so I just thought this would be cute to wear with actually this t-shirt. Like put the t-shirt on and then layer the necklace on top of it like this. So just thought that would be cute um, just to kind of dress up a t-shirt. Um, but yeah, so I love this little necklace and it was $29.95, so $30, but I feel like it's a cute little piece though that I'll just have probably for years. And I just love the fact that it was kind of long because most of my necklaces, as you can see, like my Dior necklace is more of like choker style or they're kind of closer to my neck and this one is a little bit longer. So yeah, I just love this little piece. So 
um and i love costume jewelry and yeah it just kind of gives me that western kind of cowgirl boho chic kind of vibe so um so yeah so that is one of the other accessories and then you guys are probably gonna laugh but i love hats y'all know i love hats i have all kinds of hats at this point um except for cowboy hats so you can't have a boho chic look without a cowboy hat right so i kind of got two but i don't know this one i feel like well let me just show you this one right here i don't know it's a cowboy hat but um i probably would wear this more so to like um lay out by the pool to kind of keep you know cover my face or like if i'm working in the yard or something which girl i don't be working in the yard like that but if i decide to work in the yard then i'll have like me a little hat like this so this is how it looks on me and i don't know you guys let me know what you think about it um i think it's cute i love it i don't have any hats like this and yeah i just think it's just thought it was cute and i love like this color of it. it's like a cognac color so it's definitely kind of gives me it puts me in the mind of like more of a beach hat more so than anything so i'll just have this and if i go to the beach or when i go to the beach then this will be a nice like little beach hat to wear too so and it has like this little string on it so i can kind of you know it won't fly off my head if like you know i'm you know out and about or whatever and the wind's blowing and it has a little string so it won't come off my head so um but this is from the brand billabong and let's see this was how much was this 25.95 so not too bad and it's like kind of thin you know so it's not the best quality i feel like but i don't know i i'm familiar with billabong but not that really not that much so i don't know if it's a really good quality brand or not but i love the hat anyway so i just thought it was cute you guys let me know what you think it's definitely it's definitely more of a beach hat than it is like a cowboy hat so but i love it and so happy that i got that to kind of style up I could, like I said I can style it up with this little cardigan and like some I don't know denim shorts or something and like a little tank top or something um, for like a casual chic look boho chic look so um so that is one of the cowboy hats that I got then this one I've been seeing a cowboy hat like this for a while and um been wanting something like it but just haven't really seen anything like it and never really actually haven't really gone on the internet to go searching for it like I feel like I felt like if I see it you know around then I'll get it but I'm not gonna go searching for it so I found it in um buckle and so anyway it's just this little cowboy hat and this is definitely a little cowboy hat um I don't even know what brand this is um doesn't really say Peter Grimm Peter Grimm the character true character I don't know um, this was $40, so more expensive than the other one, but this one is definitely a cowboy hat. Like, this is cowboy hat through and through, but I just put it on and thought it would be cute with my short hair, and I just love it. Like, I can wear this with one of my, um, like, summer dresses, like one of my boho dresses, and just put this on with some cute sandals and, like, a basket bag, and it's a vibe. It's a boho chic vibe, so um, I really love this hat. I think it looks cute on me. I just love hats like I said I collect them at this point so and I didn't have anything like this like I said I don't have any cowboy hats I think the only cowboy hat I had I got rid of it because I didn't think I'd ever wear it again so so glad I found this actually this one's from the men's section so it's probably a men's hat but um yeah I just absolutely love this hat and yeah I love the color of it like the color is perfect um and yeah it goes with a lot of my little basket bags or like little summer bags that I have in my um collection so yeah i really love this hat and so glad i found it at buckle so but yeah those are all the things that i got at buckle like i said i will try because i found these things in store i'll try to find them online because buckle is also online as well so i'll try to find these pieces and link them down below in the description box so be sure to check down there um so those are all the things that i got from um our little excursion uh to um birmingham alabama yesterday so now i'm going to show you guys some things that i got from boohoo this order i got i think i got a few days ago like maybe on a thursday or a friday so we're just going to open it up together i don't even remember all what i got in here so i got a little bit of mix of everything i got some clothing pieces and some accessories so um and i got some shoes too so let's just start Let's just start with the shoes. Um, I just got like some little sandals. 
and I had something similar to this, but of course y'all know when I like something, I get it in multiple colors. So, um, yeah, so the first pair of shoes I got is just some slides. Again, um, I can kind of go with that boho chic kind of vibe, but I just got these like little geezy deep dupes. And these are like in a pastel green or like pistachio green color. And these I got, I think I got these in a size 10. But I have like some green ones, um, like Kelly green ones, kind of similar to this. And I saw this color and just loved it. I love this like pistachio, sage green, whatever you want to call it. I love this color. And so, yeah, I just found these on the site and just had to get them. And yeah, they're super comfortable. I have them on now. And they kind of look, actually kind of look big on me, but... They're comfortable and I could just like wear them around the house or like wear them outside around the pool or whatever. So just thought these would be cute to wear. Just, you know, lounging around or doing whatever. So yeah, so I got them in this like pistachio green color. And then I also got them in this chocolate color. I don't know why the chocolate ones didn't come in a box. Um, but they did not come in a box, so they just came in a plastic little bag. But these are what the little chocolate brown ones look like. And I absolutely love these. These are the ones really that I really wanted to get. And then I saw they had them in the little pistachio green color, so I had to get those too. So, yeah, I got these in a size 10 as well. So, yeah, absolutely love these. Again, they're comfortable. And I would say they are definitely true to size. So, but... Yeah, so definitely love these and definitely gonna be um, excited to style these up with some of my brown pieces. So the brown is a little bit, I don't know, it's a little kind of ashy brown, if that makes sense. Like I don't even know what color to call this, but anyway, they're still cute. So just some good little pool slides. And then like I said, I'm into crochet big, like big time, so I also, saw that they had like a little crochet bag like a little crochet like little um tote bag so i love this it has all these pretty summery colors on it and so i thought if i wear like a basic neutral outfit or just an outfit with like some of these colors in it, i think this will be cute so it has like all different colors that i love like it has brown in it so i can wear a few of my brown pieces with this it has yellow blue pink so yeah because like i said i'm in a crochet so this will be cute again to kind of, let me put this down, to kind of wear with this the little crochet top that I have on, the little crochet cardigan that I have on. Just kind of gives me that boho chic kind of vibe. So absolutely love it. It's really it's kind of a little juvenile. I don't know, but I like it. I think it's cute and um, perfect for, you know, the summertime. So, um, and I don't know, I don't think I have the, the prices are on any of these things. Um, but yeah, it's just described as the crochet shopper tote. So it's a little tote bag. I love these little tote bags to just put all my junk in, everything but the kitchen sink in. So, um, so yeah, so glad or happy about that little piece. And then the next accessory I got is a little choker. And I've been seeing these little flower chokers, like floral chokers or like yeah these floral chokers like big chokers are in right now even like to like put on is like a little brooch i've been seeing those a lot lately so i saw they had the little choker on boohoo so i just had to get it because i wanted to try that little trend out and i knew i wasn't going to spend a fortune on it so i saw they had this um it has since sold out since i got this like that's why i'm trying to i said i was trying to show you guys like my new end pieces in vlogs because when I, I wait too long then the stuff sells out and like this is already sold out so but yeah this is what it looks like on me I haven't tied it or like fastened it all the way but you can kind of see like I just think that's cute it's just something different I don't think I've ever wore anything like this even when like because I'm an 80s child so I was in high school in the 90s and because this is definitely like a 90s trend I don't think I wore chokers like this or maybe I did oh no I did I had like a little it's like a little plasticky kind of like little one that y'all know the ones that like stretch um yeah i had one of those but i never had like a floral one so i just thought this was cute and just thought it was look cute to wear actually one of the clothing pieces that i'm going to show you guys in just a second but 
yeah, I just thought it was pretty, just something different to accessorize because, you know, you can't do a whole lot of layering in the uh, warmer months when it's hot. So one way to really, you know, style up a look is just with accessories. So that's why this haul is pretty accessory heavy and probably most of my hauls will be accessory heavy because I ain't doing a whole lot of layering. So you can always just really, you know, make your outfit pop with accessories. So. Um, and I feel like I probably could have made this. Like, I feel like I could have went to Joann's or, like, Hobby Lobby and gotten the pieces to make this. I feel like anybody could probably could could do that. Um, but the little part here is like a, it's like a, it's supposed to be kind of like, it's felt. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's more like felt. So, but the flower is pretty. It looks pretty good quality. So, that'll be pretty to style up with, like, black and white items. Um, or anything with like black and white in it like even what I have on today that'll be cute to wear with this so all right so those are all the accessories I think now we're gonna get into the clothing pieces all right so the first clothing item I got and I already have a bunch of these like um, little like denim skirts I have several of these at this point I have denim I have white um, I think I have two denim ones. I have a white one. Now I have a black one. So yeah, the next thing I got is this denim little maxi skirt with like a little split in the front. And I wanted one, like I said, in black because I already have one in like a creamy white and I have two denim. So I wanted to get it in the black. Um, and this I got in a size, let's see, I think I got this in a size 10. So hopefully it fits and yeah it seems like it'll fit and like it's kind of similar to all the other ones i have except it's in this black color so hopefully this fits and i will try these on for you guys so you can see how they look but yeah just wanted a just a simple you know basic black um little midi skirt to wear with all of my little you know tops cute tops that i have like this would be cute even with like that shirt that i got from buckle like even to like style it up with this little t-shirt and like that that little um choker and maybe like a little hat cowboy hat and i don't think i wear cowboy boots with it because that's just that'll just be too much <laughs> that'll just be too much um but i don't know maybe i would but some kind of sandal or something would be cute or like some little espadrilles or something so i don't know but that'll be a cute little outfit to wear and style up so yeah so that's the next piece is just a um, black denim skirt and the next item i got is a dress or the next two items i got are dresses um because i've been looking for dresses i don't have a lot of dresses and typically in the spring and summer is when i will go out and buy some dresses so i saw this one on the site and thought it was cute and this is a gingham um front maxi dress I got this in a size 10 as well and this is from the tall section it's just like a little um, sleeveless dress like it it goes like this and it has like a little bow here I'll try these on again so this looks like it's yeah it's definitely gonna be maxi on me cuz I got it in a tall so um, it's definitely gonna be maxi so I just hope like the bust part fits me just just right but it looks like I can adjust it if I need to with the tie here so um, but yeah so yeah, I love this little gingham dress. And again, this would be cute with a little choker. That's really why I got um, this, is to wear with this dress. But again, I can wear with th wear this with all the pieces that I have um, that I purchased, so. But yeah, love this little dress. And it has like little, um, what do you call it? Like little ruffle tiers at the bottom of it too, so. But yeah, love that little dress. Oh, you know what? I have more accessories. Yeah, I have some more accessories in here. We'll do the rest of the clothing pieces and then I'll do the rest of the accessories because I got more accessories. I got some jewelry, some more jewelry that I forgot about. Um, so yeah, the next dress I got is this one and it's just like in this floral print and I just thought this is really pretty. I love all the colors in this, like green and pink and it's got a little orange in it, blue, white. Yeah, I thought this was really pretty. And again, it has like a little ruffle or tear at the bottom. And it's just like little spaghetti straps. 
And what I love about this is I can adjust the straps because I have a short torso and sometimes it's hard for things to really fit me as far as dresses if it doesn't have adjustable straps. So yeah, I thought this would be pretty um, to wear this summer because I'm looking for like some more like cute little floral dresses. And this one I love because it has like the little ruffle detail on here. So yeah, just love this one. And this one I got in a size 10 as well and yeah love it hopefully it fits and we'll try it on it has elasticated detail in the bottom or in the back of it here so that's good i feel like it'll be comfortable and it also has a zipper so that's good so so hopefully these dresses fit because i do like them um all right now we're going to do the rest of the jewelry that i forgot i got that i purchased um Boohoo is a brand out of the UK, so it takes a little bit for me to get the pieces, so it takes a, like a couple of weeks, so, uh, which is why some of the stuff is probably out of stock or low stock, so. Um, but the next item I got are these little, um, I don't know if they're like star-shaped, well, it's kind of star-shaped, but like this geometric-shaped earrings, and I just love like these chunky earrings, like I probably have to wear my hair a little back or something to be able to see them because with my hair like over my face like this you probably really couldn't see it but if i wear like my hair back or just kind of put it behind my ear then these earrings could really show and really pop but i like these these are really cute and just some like little bold statement earrings like you know if you got your hair back or something or like i said if i have like wear my hair like you know behind my ears or something then these will kind of pop and be cute to wear in the uh, summertime so like i said y'all i like to accessorize in the summertime because you can't do a whole lot and you don't want to wear a whole lot when it's hot outside so um so the next piece i got is another necklace and i thought this would be cute you know what it looks like it's broke so that is a fail I am very disappointed in that. Yep, this definitely is broke. So, definitely am disappointed that I'm going to see if maybe I can fix it. Um, although, the little link on here is broke. So, I don't think I can fix this. But, I am so <laughs> upset and disappointed. So, I'm probably just going to call customer service and see if I can get a replacement. Um, because it's broke. And, I'm so upset. Like, this is how it looks anyway. Just in case you're interested. But kind of looks like this so it's just a little like a little statement necklace it looks like little stars or something yeah it looks like star detail um so just thought this was cute again to accessorize with in the summertime when it's too hot to wear a whole lot of layers but this is broke so not too happy about that um but yeah like i said i'm gonna go on customer service or call customer service rather and see if i can get this replaced if not then there's no other way I can fix this. Yeah, this definitely cannot be fixed. Um, unless I kind of glue it, but that ain't going to work. Gluing it is definitely not going to work. So, But anyway, just to kind of show you what that looks like. I'm disappointed that that's broke. Alright, so I'm going to try on these dresses real quick and show you guys what these dresses and this skirt look like. Alright, here's what the t-shirt looks like. And I have on the denim skirt so let me try to put you guys down so you guys can kind of see the full effect of the denim skirt so yeah fits me just fine I just kind of made like a little outfit with this so I put on the little um choker and then just kind of like you know put on these gold little two strap sandals that I got from H&M so this is probably how I wear it and I probably further accessorize with my little hat <laughs> yeah i think this will be cute so yeah sorry you guys can't really see this that great but hopefully i can take some pictures and show you guys like the full look um because yeah you definitely can't see the full look here but i don't know you guys let me know what you think um definitely just kind of like a rough draft of the outfit <laughs> definitely a rough draft of an outfit but I think it's cute like I think it's a cute look um I don't know to wear the date night or something I don't know you guys let me know where would be appropriate to wear this I don't know I just feel like it I don't know I think it might be too costumey costumey I don't know but 
yeah it's cute it's cute you but you guys let me know what you think about it but i definitely love the hat but maybe not i don't know maybe not with the skirt i don't know just feel like i don't know it's cute though it's different i think it's because it's different and it's not something that um i wear all the time um because this is definitely an outfit that i would probably only wear in like the spring and summertime because that's when i typically do like i said like boho chic um it's in the uh spring and summer so i just have to get used to this <laughs> so but it's still cute i don't know i would definitely i'd wear it probably wear it out um date night or something just to kind of you know do something fun so but these are how these pieces look you know styled up dressed up you guys let me know what you think about it okay let me show you guys the other dresses all right here's the next piece and it is the dress so let me put you guys down so you can kind of see how it looks so it definitely goes down to maxi length it's definitely dragging the floor so um but i absolutely love it it fits me just fine like it fits me fine here on the bust here and yeah i absolutely love it i gotta fix my tan y'all like i gotta get out in the sun and like fix where these tan lines are it's, it's ridiculous um but i love like a little tie detail here and i just kept on the hat and a little choker just to kind of see how it looks um but yeah this is definitely a flowy really flowy dress and just nice and comfortable something that um like i said i can wear um like running around the house or not running around the house but you know what i mean like lounging around the house or um yeah i wear this date night I just popped on the hat with it too just to kind of see how I liked this and yeah this is definitely giving me like cowgirl vibes I don't know y'all like I'm having to like really I don't know <laughs> I'm having to like really kind of figure out if this is me or not like I don't know I feel like it's not me but I like to you know have fun with my style and experiment so I feel like it could be me I just have to wear it like I'm just I don't know i don't know how i feel about it y'all let me know but i love the dress i don't know if it's just the hat maybe it's the hat kind of throwing me off a little bit because i love i love this with the choker because i got the um choker with this dress in mind so maybe it's just the hat that was just kind of throwing me off and the hat was maybe just a little too much like i feel like it will be better with like one of like my other like little fedoras like i feel like i feel like that's better to me that's yeah that's more me that's more chic i feel like the cowboy hat i don't know i don't know how to style these cowboy hats because i love them and i want them to work but i just feel like they don't work with something too like cowboyish you know what i mean like this is this dress isn't really cowboyish but it's more it's more like western or more boho so i just feel like with the hat the cowboy hat makes it too boho <laughs> and i like to have a mix that's why i think the fedora worked better with this look um and the, yeah the cowboy hat didn't really work all that well so but i don't know we're gonna keep working with it and see how it goes but i definitely love this dress and highly recommend it hopefully this stuff is still available but like i said i will link everything down in the description box for you guys but yeah i absolutely love this dress and definitely keeping it so let's try on the last dress all right here is the next dress and again i absolutely love it like if not for the fact that i can adjust these straps i would not like it because it's too it would be too low so i can adjust the straps according to my comfort so i'm gonna pan you guys down so you can see that it is definitely maxi length on me it goes down dragging the ground but not as bad or not as much as the um, gingham one but just absolutely love it i love all these colors i love the detail with the ruffles in the bust area and this is kind of how it looks in the back here so it's very comfortable super comfortable on me and yeah just absolutely love it don't i thought i had pockets i thought i felt pockets but does not have pockets in it so but yeah absolutely love this dress <laughs> i'm trying to make this hat work i'm just really trying like i feel like it works with this i don't know i just feel like it looks better with this dress than it does with the little gingham dress that i have um but i'm just trying to make this hat work so if this hat doesn't work let's see if this one does this other one does ouch the little thing is in there so i don't know what we think about this one i feel like this one I don't know this one's more of a beach vibe so i definitely don't think this one works as much as the other one does but i'm definitely trying to make these hats work like y'all i love these hats so much 
and I don't want to get I don't want to pin you know send them back <laughs> but they have to work with my, my with my outfits like they have to in order for me to keep them because I feel like if they don't work I don't need them so but you guys let me know what you think like I don't know how you guys feel about the cowboy hats like I said I don't have any so I wanted to get some and try them out and I feel like the best time to do it is in the spring and summer you know boho sheet vibes right so I don't know you guys let me know I'm trying to make them work y'all like I'm trying but I think I'm failing so I just got to figure out really how to style these up so um but anyway so that's the dress I'm gonna keep it I absolutely love it and actually all the pieces I'm gonna keep um except for that little necklace I told you guys that broke I'm gonna see if I can get a refund on that or get a replacement because I love it and I don't want to waste my money on something that's broken and I want to have to go and I'm sure I can fix it and I can do a little MacGyvering to it but I don't even want to do that so but it was a, super cheap so it's not that big of a deal um and I think Boohoo they were having 60% off they always have like 60% off I feel like on their website but I think as of right now they have 60% off so if you want to go on there and find some cute little summery pieces to add to your wardrobe for the spring and summer then that's a good place to go so but I will link everything down below in the description box if you saw something um, in this haul that you liked and you want to try out so but um yeah that's it you guys let me know about the cowboy hats though like are y'all feeling them do y'all feel like I feel like I have to make them work I've never had any so it's gonna be a challenge and I like challenges I'm up for the challenge because I've never had well I say never I have had one but I gave it away because I just wasn't wearing it so I guess there's a reason why I did because I don't know how to really style these up and not look just so crazy y'all so y'all let me know how y'all feel about the cowboy hats but yeah everything um that I showed you guys I'll try to link down in the description box to check down there but I think that's it I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I really wasn't expecting this to be a two-day vlog and it has turned into a two-day vlog so I'm gonna get to editing so I can upload this video so thank you guys uh, you know for spending the weekend with me I hope you had a good time and enjoyed just kind of coming along with me on my weekend um of you know an out you know outing you know a, a day excursion and shopping and eating I think I showed you guys clips of me eating and stuff like that so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the weekend. I hope you have a, had a fabulous weekend and, you know, got out and did some things, whether it be with your family or did some self-care, you know, just with yourself. Because sometimes you need that just to get out and just enjoy being with yourself sometimes, too. So, um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys will probably see this video on a Monday. So, I hope that you will have a wonderful week and don't let nothing and nobody distress you, distract you, deter you from your goals this week. So, all right, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like videos like this, because I do tons of fashion videos and vlogs. So, thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye guys.